Right, I'm gonna let that work. I'll nip up to the oil field, I guess it is. And grab some more fuel. So I can use my jetpack again. And hopefully I can also finish the refinery. Um, I'm making fuel at quite a, quite a fast rate. I definitely need to figure out what to do with that. I've got two more refineries that I can put down. There we go. Now, this one's producing 60 per minute. So we've got that going in there. And then, oh, I wish it would automatically connect, but you have to add one of these manually. So this will pump out crew out 60 per minute. And I think I was going to be making plastic over here. And then over here, we were going to be making rubber. I think I was going to do rubber on both. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should put plastic on both over here. Yeah, I think we were putting plastic on both of these. It's freaking confusing at times. So at total, I could have like 40 heavy oil residue per minute. Right, I'm going to take out this, this, all of these. Sorry. I'm going to have to reorder everything because it's just not working, this format. So residual fuel, fuel is made from... That's okay, I can actually underclock that anyway. Right, I'm going to take it down everything I've built and re-lay it all out. Oh, I should make it daytime again. Friggin' pain in the ass, being at night. I wonder what happens if we, um... Add this. Can that come at a faster rate? I don't think it can. Oh, it can. So I can actually have this running 90 per minute. So what I want is two refineries, just sitting next to each other here. Why does this all fuel squint? So we've got that, and then we just need to junction this up. Add the pipeline. So we have oil going into both of these. And we want plastic. Now that's making plastic at 20 per minute, which is fine. I just, all I need is a, a constructor over here. I'll be making empty canisters. To get 30 per minute going in here, we'll have 10 excess. Ah, I know. Okay, I've sussed it. It's actually very simple. 20 per minute goes in here. Then we have a splitter. I'll we'll just put splitter here. And then a merger, which will go... Oh shit. I guess there. Right. So 20 coming out of this, 20 coming out of that, 20 going straight into there, 20 plastic comes here, splits, 10 goes off into there. So this belt's actually making 30 per minute. And we'll have another 10 that goes off into storage, which will be just here, I guess. Then we have the the, the fluid. Yeah, she'd done this the other way around and had the the belts going up and the pipes staying on the ground. This fluid doesn't travel above ground very well. Right, so on the other side we'll have a packager. Actually, this could turn out quite well. Right, so we'll just have the pipeline come straight along here. Right, there we are. So residual fuel going in here. Conveyor belt from this will... Why does everything feel so squint? But anyway, we'll have package fuel. I think it's time to put some walls up. Alright, so that's kind of my first oil factory. That's creating fuel uh, and plastic. It's really not a lot to look at, to be honest. So we'll put a, a dual socket here, and then run the power over to the bridge. I thought I unlocked the glass roof, but I don't know how you make it. I wonder if it's just a case of going to the customizer. Glass roof, yeah it is. That's pretty cool, I like that. And like, if I do every second roof as like glass, that would be pretty badass. Maybe I'll just leave these things up here like little chimneys. I think that's okay. Just peeking through. There. So, I kind of made it all open window here. Uh, I'm thinking about making this just a uh, concrete walls. I wonder if that'll look good. So, we can have the factory there. I should really have doors here. That'll do. Right, well, I guess I'll just uh, change the colour of all this. And the material. I think the concrete goes better with like the trees and that as well. I'm assuming you can lay this as concrete so you don't have to just lay it like this all the time because this, this will take a while if I have to basically double lay stuff all the time. I shit I'm out of concrete. Right, I'll just hook up all the power now that I have kind of a base of what I'm doing. So to run a power line up through the middle as well. And we should be good to go. We have the plastic getting made. Empty canisters are getting made at a good rate. We haven't got any fuel coming out yet. I'm not sure it's pumping up. Maybe it is, it's just going at a slow rate. Yeah, we have some coming up now. No! 
I messed, I messed up. Because it has to go into another refinery, doesn't it? Oh, what a doofus I am. Yeah, because we have to turn it into the, the heavy oil residue into actual fuel, uh, which I haven't done. There we are. So that'll pump up into there. This will make residual fuel. Such an empty. Oh, I don't need all these empty canisters. What am I supposed to do with that? We should be pumping fuel up. There we go. Not, I'm not really used to using pipes and that at the moment. I'm going to jump over here and do the same with the rubber side. I think that does similar. And what I'll do is I'll pump all of the heavy oil residue. I might actually move these. So that needs 60... Yeah, this, this refinery, it needs 60 heavy oil residue per minute. Now the plastic produces 10 heavy oil residue per minute. And rubber does 20, so that's 60 in total. So I can have two rubbers, two plastics, and have all of them connected to another refinery, which refines the oil at 60 per minute, so it'll all work out perfectly. So I may as well just do that now. So I'll get rid of all of this again. I wish I'd like, I wish I'd unlocked the pipeline holes for the, the walls. Could have had them like coming out. Right, I'm going to design all this and then I'll be right back. Yeah, so I've decided just to, it's only two, two tickets in the awesome sink to unlock the the wall sockets for the pipes and I think aesthetically it's going to look a lot better so I'm going to try and just harvest some DNA and that would be the quickest way of getting the tickets but first of all I'll stop by my forge and I've got the heavy modular frames ready part of me wants to hang on to them just in case I need them I'll add the pipe as well in fact there should be more pipe down below. There isn't. It's very slow. I think I'm going to have to make a bigger forge and just get like deliveries of iron. It's not an issue, but I do need computers. So I've already set two computers, but I need plastic's not an issue. So I can throw the plastic in there. Cable's not really an issue either. I'll throw some cable in. Gonna need a lot more though. Screws. Circuit board's actually the issue because I don't even know how to make them. I need cable. <laughs> i just put my cable in here. There we go, circuit board. Oh, that's pretty easy actually. Just plastic and copper sheeting. I can make that easy. And how much of that do we need? 10 circuit boards and we need 42. That's all. That's not bad, that's what, 420? So, copper sheeting, plastic, God. Everything's so freaking complex now. Right, let's see if I can find some enemies to fight. It's going to be a lot easier now to do hunting. Now I've got a jetpack. Oh, look at all these boys. Look at them scatter. <laughs> Come here. God, they're so fast. This is pretty cool. This is the kind of stuff you don't really see when you don't have the jetpack. Like, I wonder if you get DNA from the big guys, but uh, I don't think I could bring myself to kill one. I never realised there was kind of like a route up here before. Because I've been driving on the road so much that I built, that you kind of miss out on a lot of this. I should definitely do a little bit more exploration. Oh wow, there's like a whole other world down here. I wonder if you can get all the way up there then. This is insane, look at that. I mean, I've barely made a dent in this world. I wonder if I make it up to this bit. There we go. Kinda looks like a face. Oh, Jesus. I'm curious if there's something up there now. Because it looks like there's steps. I mean, I'm up this high already. I may as well go check it out. Wow, look at that. Uh, <laughs> that looks like trash. I didn't realise I used... Uh, I didn't use roof parts for the forge. Looks so small as well. Everything looks tiny. And you can just see the oil refinery over there. And then the space elevator all the way over there. But I'm wanting to see what's up there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That didn't go as planned. Not that I really had a plan. There must be a better way up there. Because if you look at these rocks. 
this one's kind of got a shape to it with a path which suggests to me that this is like the route up this is definitely a path and I think this is the only way up I mean it's, it's hard it's not working out as well as I thought it would there must be a way that makes sort of a, a logical sense ah right yeah so you've got this up here is that I don't think that's it. the legit way you're supposed to go though there's definitely a route over there I just need to figure out how to get there without dying there we go made it where the hell do we go from here is there even a way up from here do I have to go back that way it kind of looks like this is a uh, the way it's going up the way anyway so glad I brought a ton of fuel nice little bonus having these uh Enemies here. So it looks like I need to get up there. Ooh, looks like we've got a hard drive. What does it need? Is there a hard drive? Is this not usually where the hard drives are? These broken down things? Yeah. Sweet. So back to adventuring. Yeah, I can't imagine ever tackling this without a jetpack. I think you kind of need it. Alright, it looks pretty plain sailing from here. Oh god, I need to watch my step. Oh, whoa. <laughs> God damn, I almost saved at the wrong time and made my, my screen jump. Right, what is my reward? I made it to the top. Holy shit. Holy shit, radiation poisoning, that's my reward. That's not good. <laughs> so I made it all this way, and all I got was a uranium deposit, which doesn't really help me right now. And a purple power slug. Oh, well, let's just appreciate the view. Oh, wow. Look at all that fog. That's pretty cool. You can see my, um... Oh! factory but you can't see anything else well that was a completely pointless journey so i'm gonna go back to the explorer and get back to my mission i'm guessing i can just jump down here i mean at least i got the hard drive it's pretty handy right where's my explorer it's in this direction right so i'm back at the factory uh it feels like this isn't replenishing as fast as i thought it would maybe it is i don't know this whole factory is running quite slow though i think it's all running on old mark one and two stuff to be fair what's this no, it's not the smelter that's the issue. It's these things. What are they? Mark 1 miners. First things first, I'm going to convert all of the animal bits into DNA. See how many tickets I can get for that. Right here, let's get the sink down. I'll just hook it up to that. I don't even know if you can burn them. No, you can't. I don't know what I can get for fuel. Doesn't take fuel either. God damn it. Oh. It might take fuel. I just realised that the power line's not connected. I'll try that again. Yeah, that's not great. Right, so let's dump the DNA. Why can't I see? Oh, there it is. I can't see it. I think this will give us two. Should be enough. Yep. But three. Right, so the whole reason I'm here is for... Is it management? Yeah, I think it is. These. What else can I get for one street light? That would be pretty cool to put on the roads. I'd like to get the solid line patterns and I could put like little lines on the road. That'd be cool. Well, maybe as well just buy the street lights. I can delete all of this now because that's not used anymore. Take some more concrete because I will be using an absolute ton of it. The biofuel can sit in there. In fact, I may as well just put it in the vehicle because it's not like I'm going to be using it anywhere else. So I will grab some more of these copper sheets because I'm probably going to end up needing a bunch of them to make the circuit boards. Let's take my head back. I've, I've built so much stuff that I just don't even use at the moment, like this Caterium factory I keep passing. I've, I've never even used it once, so I'm guessing it's like later, later stage game, later game stage. However you say that, the solid biofuel still seems to be pretty damn good for running the vehicles. Not sure why. I'm not even sure how you run a vehicle off of solid biofuel. It's not just basically steam power. Right, so here's the foundry. So he's got the plastic going in. Oh, it was screws. I needed to make screws, screws and cable. I don't really need these going in anymore. Yeah, it was screws and cable I should have picked up. Back to the iron factory we go. And then I'm definitely going to go back to the oil factory to finish the setup of what I want to do. Because I'm trying to do two things at once. But realistically, unlocking the tiers is, is the whole point of the game. So that's what I should be focusing on. Right, so I'm just going to take all the screws I can fit. I'll throw them in the back. And I'll do the same with cable. I should have plenty of cable. Loads of cable. Let me just check what I need again for the... 
the digital thing and made you them circuit boards. That was just plastic and copper sheeting. Okay, back at the forge again. What happened to the cable? I, I thought I brought way more cable than that. Right, so we want to make circuit boards. That means copper sheets and we need plastic and also power. Where's my closest power supply? There we go. So that can just sit there making copper sheet uh, circuit boards. God sakes, man, I'm so confused about there's There's just so much to do. Right, I'm just going to let that work away and I'll come back. But I want to go kind of finish off the oil refinery. So, what was my plan again? I need the heavy oil residue coming out. And all of them will go into another refinery. So I'm going to need to put like a road. Well, it turns out I've not got enough steel pipe anyway. Holy crap. Jesus Christ. Should be alright. I should be able to just come down there and reattach onto the road. That'll do the job. Well, we should have some pipe now. I'm just going to bend that fuel because even although I need fuel, I don't need to worry about it because I'm constantly making it. Oh wait, I'm not because I deleted the refinery. But it's not an issue anyway. Uh, I'll drop some of this in there. That means I just need computers now. I need to start adding like turning places. Oh, look, I've got loads of screws in the back. Such an idiot. Right, so I'll put that up one little bit. Can you not use liquid fuel in the chainsaw? So refinery just sitting like here will be fine I think. Uh, is that going to be okay? Seems quite close to the road. No, that's going to be okay. Pretty cool actually. Right, so we actually want all of the uh, pipelines coming through here. I don't know if that's going to pump very well. Yeah, I've got a feeling that these are definitely going to struggle to pump up the way. There we go. That'll come down here. Now if I fire some walls up, which will be concrete. Right, so that'll pump into here. It looks like we don't need all of this now. That's quite good. Right, so the residual stuff will go out there. And there. And then we'll have a single pipeline hole on this side. Just like we have at this side. The plan will be to have all of that kind of going in like that. This is trickier than I thought. Right, so what I'll do is I'll bring this out a tiny amount like that. Like I did with the other one, put the pipeline across in the middle. There we are. So we should have residual fuel pumping in there. Oh, when I turn it on, it will. We just have to bring it down here. Uh, that's going to be tight, though. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's hope it does. Right, that's too close, which means I'm going to have to move the pipes back a little bit. Well, actually, I suppose what I could do, just like an extra little level of flare, put another pipe hole here, have that attached to that. This is probably stupid because nobody's ever going to see it. Put another pipe hole there. Now what we've got to do is connect all of these. So it's a pump out the back as well that. Now we can add a pipeline junction to the end of that. And now we should be fine. There we are. Then all i got to do is add power. I'll also add some walls just up to there. I actually have power just running here so this could work out fine. You know what, I'm going to actually get rid of the side of these roads and replace them with some windows. Because I think that would be really cool. So I'm going to do kind of like what I did last time with the roof. Make it glass. But I'm going to make this a slightly different shape. Oh shit, I need silica. Uh, let's have a look. This is pretty cool. So you drive past, you can see it all working. Down here is like a little industrial bit. So I need to add the power, which is already attached here, which is really handy. Right, so we're producing rubber. Uh, and crude oil out of these. Crude oil should be going up here. The heavy oil residue, sorry, we use crude oil. And hoping that it will continue the pump this way. I don't know if that works. Yeah, it seems to be filling up. I mean, logically it should just keep pumping stuff. Right, so this is the last item I need for monorail technology. Away it goes. Milestone reached. A new set of buildings and vehicles needed for long-range transportation has been made available. That's what I want. Right. So, transport. Let me see what I need. Oh god, there's so much. I dread to look at it, because I, I think it's going to be quite an expensive thing to build. So, the train itself. Not as bad as I thought. It needs five computers. Freight cars. Not too bad either train station. So it's going to be a lot of computers and um, heavy modular frames. But resource wise, it's not insane. I just need to automate computers and stuff. And the railway is just steel. 
using signals is going to be a bit tricky i think okay so actual railway is not that expensive you just place it down like that then if i just want to turn okay i mean it said it needed a wide angle but that's not that wide um i think this is going to be a real sort of game changer all right i look forward to playing around with these it's going to make things interesting and before i go i will see what the other milestones are so once i've done jetpack we've got two more left in tier six so pipeline engineering which is very doable those three resources are no problem i just i'm really going to have to automate heavy modular frames because it looks like everything's going to be using them it's like the new steel and expanded power infrastructure which again is using computers 100 computers as well that's a lot uh achieved quite a lot in these last two videos and it was kind of a jumbled mess so sorry about that but from now on there should be a clearer path that I'm going to follow, which is going to be like having them, like for the next video, I'm going to be focusing on automation a lot more. I need to automate heavy modular frames and also build a railway. But I don't know if I'll be able to do that next time because like I say, I'll be focusing on the heavy modular frames. Thank you for watching and hope you have a great day. See you next time.